Today, we're gonna to talk about a life skill that's more essential than a perfectly baked chocolate souffle, the fine art of saying no. And I'm gonna teach you how to politely decline social engagements that you don't want to attend. So, let's get into it. We've all been there. You get an invitation to a social event that you'd rather skip more than a bad karaoke song. Maybe it's a networking event where you'll be surrounded by more business cards than actual conversations. Or maybe it's a party where you'd rather face a room full of clowns than your chatty Aunt Petunia. But how do you turn down these invitations without hurting feelings or seeming antisocial? The answer is simpler than you might think. You can politely decline any invitation without burning bridges. The very first step is to be honest with yourself. If you're not genuinely excited about an event, it's okay to admit it. There's no point in forcing yourself to attend something that you're not gonna enjoy. Once you've decided to say no, the next step is to communicate your decision politely and gracefully. Now, one of the most effective ways to do this is by expressing your appreciation for the invitation. So you can say something like, thank you so much for inviting me. It sounds lovely, but I'm afraid I have another commitment that day. Now, you don't need to give an elaborate excuse. A simple, I'm not feeling up to it, or I have other plans, or I have some engagements can suffice. The key is to be sincere and avoid giving false hope. If you feel comfortable, you can offer an alternative. For instance, you could say, I can't make it this time, but I would love to get together for coffee next week. How does Wednesday afternoon look? Another helpful tip is to practice saying no. You can try role-playing different scenarios with a friend or a family member, because the more you practice, the more comfortable and confident you will become. Remember, saying no doesn't make you a bad person. It's simply a way of setting boundaries and protecting your time and energy. It's about prioritizing what truly matters to you. Saying no to social engagements can be tricky, but it is a crucial skill to have in your communication toolbox. The key is to be polite, honest, and assertive. So let's now have a look at four concrete strategies that make saying no a whole lot easier. Strategy number one, be direct and honest. Sometimes the best approach is just to be direct and honest. You can say something like, thank you for the invitation, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. If the person presses you for a reason, you can simply say, I have other commitments that I need to attend to. Strategy number two, offer an alternative. So if you're comfortable with it and you want to, and you really do want to hang out with the person, you just don't want to do what they have offered you to do, you can offer an alternative activity. For example, you could say, I'm not available on that day, but I would love to get together for lunch next week. This shows that you're actually still interested in spending time with the person. You're not brushing them off. You just don't want to get together that day of the original invitation for whatever reason you may have. Strategy number three, use a white lie. Now, in some cases, a white lie might actually be your best option. And I'm not a proponent of lying, but this is another strategy that you might consider using depending on your situation. For example, you could say, I'm so sorry, but I'm feeling under the weather and I really don't wanna risk getting you sick. Or I have a work deadline that I need to meet and I just won't be able to make it that day. So that might be a white lie, but use your judgment and you decide. Strategy number four, be assertive. So if somebody is being really persistent you may need to be more assertive. So you could say something like, I appreciate your invitation, but I've already made plans for that day and I'm not able to change them. Or I'm sorry, but I'm not comfortable attending that event. How can you practice these strategies? Well, the very best way to practice these strategies is to role play with a friend or a family member, like I said. And what you can do is take turns being the person who is inviting and the person who is declining. 
Again, it's important to practice saying no because a lot of us are uncomfortable with turning people down. Maybe you're more of a people pleasing type or maybe you just feel badly to reject an invitation and I get it. So practicing saying no can get you more comfortable with the idea of essentially rejecting an invitation, declining an invitation, you get the idea. Because this will help you get more comfortable with the language and the delivery of your message. And if you would like to further develop your communication skills and build confidence in social situations like these, well then you might consider joining our community of practice at Exploring Academy. And you can take part in either our self-study program or join live coaching calls with me for personalized feedback that I share with you right then and there on the spot. You can find out more at academy.exlearning.co. Remember, it is okay to say no to social engagements that you really don't want to attend. Just be polite, be honest, and be assertive. By following the strategies that I've shared with you today, you can learn to decline social invitations with confidence, grace, and poise. So the next time you receive an invitation that just doesn't spark joy, do not hesitate to politely decline. Remember, your time is valuable. It is finite. It is probably your most important asset, and you have the right to choose how you spend it. Learning to say no is a liberating experience. It opens up space for the things that you truly want to do and the people that you genuinely want to be with. It is a crucial step towards living a more authentic and fulfilling life. So I encourage you to implement these strategies, try them on for size, and see how it goes. Now, before we wrap up, let's quickly recap. So be honest with yourself, express your appreciation for the invitation, communicate your decision clearly, and offer an alternative if possible, if you want to. And remember, practice makes progress and progress makes us happy. So get out there and start saying no to the things that don't serve you. Your future self will 100% thank you. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. It's great to see you here today. Subscribe to my channel, follow my podcast, and sign up for my newsletter for weekly strategies and lessons delivered straight to your inbox. And maybe I'll even see you in my community, Exploring Academy. Bye for now and happy exploring, everyone.